Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? Do, do you think I'll tell you? Huh? Damn. Miss. I was hoping to lop your head off your shoulders. But apparently my aim isn't what it used to be. Oh well. You should be able to hear just fine with one ear, shouldn't you? Yeah. I'll ask again. Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? Ugh. Just get it over with and kill me. I'm not going to tell you anything. Hmm. Chatterbox. This isn't as much fun as I imagined it would be. You say that, but your face says otherwise. You don't even care what it has to say, do you? You just want to play with her. Alright. Guilty as charged. That's right. I'm not really interested in what's inside that castle. Finding that out will be simple enough. All I have to do is go down there myself to find out. You want to know why I'm doing this to you? I want to see you break. To see you sell your friends down the river. Unfortunately, it seems you aren't going to be very cooperative in that regard. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Speak. What is inside that castle? What is inside the cold storage? What's so important that it's making you all dig your heels in and refuse to retreat? Has anyone told you that your breath stinks? You can borrow one of my toothbrushes if you need to. <sighs> when did Marion join you? What? How do you know that name? Answer me. Uh. Mm, this is getting tedious. This is. It's a device intended to induce corruption. Huh? One prick from this, and you'll answer to the raptures entirely. Would you like to know a secret? You probably thought that once corruption occurs, your mind would be destroyed. But that's not true. In reality, your consciousness remains intact. Uh. However, you have no control over what you say or do. It's like you're outside yourself looking in, unable to exert any influence over your own body. And in the end, you die by your comrade's hands. All throughout the entire process, you are painfully conscious of everything. Sounds like a miserable experience, does it not? Answer my question, and I won't subject you to such a torturous fate. Uh, uh, your Highness! Still mulling it over? Then I'll change the terms of the deal. If you answer, I'll spare your life. You can return to your friends and fight us once more, or run away. You'll spare me? Yes. D don't lie to me. You are no threat to us. That's why we can spare you. You'll be powerless to stop us anyway. There could be dozens of you. 
And you still wouldn't pose the slightest threat. So out with it. You're out of options. <sighs> Just say the words, and you can live. I don't know what twisted sense of duty you've conjured up in your mind. But no mission is worth throwing your life away for. My mission? Such things are meaningless. No one will ever recognize you for your accomplishments, or even remember you. Just give up and abandon it. <sighs> Your Highness, my king, forgive me. <sighs> I'm leaving. What? Don't play with me, you filthy bastards. I am a subject of the kingdom and the king's proud royal aid. My mission is to bring light and glory to the entire kingdom and to live for the king. I would never abandon my mission. Only filthy turncoats like you would even consider such a heinous act. I would never betray my king. I would never stoop so low as scum like you, who don't know the first thing about pride or nobility. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I have nothing to say to you. The only words I have for you are curses and insults. So go ahead and do your worst. Kill me. Corrupt me. If my king finds out something has happened to me, she'll chase you to the ends of the earth. She will have her revenge and see to it that your corpses hang at the city gates for the next hundred years. King? Did you say king? That's right. My life's purpose is to serve and worship my king. She is far stronger and nobler than any of you could possibly imagine. So stand aside or prepare to be mowed down. For my king will come here personally to take your heads as a trophy. I don't think our interrogation is going as planned. You are an obstinate fool who has been blinded by your mission. Despite that, I am envious of you. <laughs>